<laughs> Your next favorite griddle breakfast. We're talking about a breakfast buffet in one bite. Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today we've got a special guest. I'm telling you, as you can see, it came out fantastic. If you guys want to see how we make this, here we go. We have a special guest, Chef Tim Clowers. Might be one of the most prestigious <laughs> guests of honor I've ever had on the Flat Top King. But here we are today, we're going to throw down some fantastic food. Quick introduction, we met on a trip when we went to uh, Utah for Camp Chef. Yep, became Logan, Logan, Utah. Yep, became good friends after that. You're actually in Knoxville. And uh, we mingled and wrangled and all that stuff uh, ever Made since. Made eggs together and everything else. Yeah, Scottish eggs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here we are. Today is all about breakfast in one bite. Here we go. Chef Tim's going to take over the pancake duties. And while you're doing that, I can explain kind of what we're thinking. So the idea is a breakfast crunch wrap. I'm making a mess here. Oh my God, Free. I might have to go back to culinary school. The <laughs> idea is a breakfast crunch wrap. I've done crunch wrap supremes before. Breakfast is kind of popular on the griddle. So I got a twist for you. What if we make a breakfast crunch wrap, then we make a French toast batter, dredge the crunch wrap in the French toast batter, and then we can either griddle it or deep fry it. Dude, that's my love language. Breakfast. <laughs> You're love pastries. <laughs> Because you know, when we were in Logan, man, or at Salt Lake City Airport, how many did I eat? More than what they had. And how big were they? I think they're still shipping them to you. <laughs> All right, so we got our wet ingredients mixed together, the yogurt, the eggs. We're going to go straight into our milk. By the way, that was sour cream, not yogurt. <sighs> Neil just handed you a bowl and said mix. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's slide over our wet ingredients. And let's slowly incorporate the wet into the dry. Just to let you know, I didn't come up with this just out of the whim. We actually have this recipe on the flattopking.com because it's one of our highest rated recipes. People seem to love it. Uh, quick and easy. And it's uh, basically with just uh, pantry staples. All right, so let's cut us a big piece of breakfast sausage so that we can smash this on the griddle. All right, so let's take our two breakfast sausage patties and we're cooking over a medium heat and the other two burners are on low. And let's get our parchment and we're just simply gonna smash the breakfast sausage. And you want it to be the exact, oh, I smashed it a little uneven. The flat top is gonna get mad at me. <laughs> you, you want it to make sure that it's about the same size as the actual smasher. All right, it griddles up the temp. Tim's got those sausages rolling. Fantastic pancake recipe. You see all those air pockets in there? That's what we're looking for. So griddle's about 375. Make simple pancakes. Can you eat the dough raw? It looks so good. <laughs> I've eaten worse. We eat, we eat the pancakes with no syrup though, because we love them so much. You'll see. Proofs in the pancake batter. All right, so let's go ahead and flip these. Look at the crust. I think the flat top team might be pleased, right? Looks good. A plus. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping ah, that one in there. Yeah. I just lost credits there. <laughs> Street cred. We got a little bit more oil, our four hash browns. So let's go ahead and drop a little bit of oil. We'll go ahead and rub that right there. Drop one, two, three, four. That's four, four. That's, <laughs> that's time in the saddle right there. Flip these. I want you to see that nice golden brown crust right there. That's just going to add a lot of flavor to this dish. GBD, baby. Woo, baby. Golden brown delicious. All right. Eggs scrambled, very basic.
So let's go ahead and make a quick French toast batter. We're gonna start out with a couple of eggs, generous splash of vanilla, touch of cinnamon, milk, brown sugar. All right, let's give that a good mix. All right, so this is the idea. As crazy as it sounds, I told you it's a one bite breakfast. <laughs> it's a good yeah. idea. See, pancake in the middle, check. See, it's almost the size of that tortilla. So everything stays in that same idea. So you got your sausage, looky there. Piece of cheese, looky there. Top that with your crispy hash browns, tortilla, and now we fold. just to help us out just a little bit. Cheater method. All right, I just removed the toothpicks. We're gonna sear this off first. Try to seal in those edges, just for a quick sear. All right, I got my tortillas heated up. I've got that pancake. Then I've got my sausage. We're gonna take some cheese, eggs, mm -hmm. hash brown, tortilla. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put it right on top of that griddle to seal the edges. Look at there, looking good. See how snug in the bug it looks? Look at that. Everybody says you gotta plan till you get hit in the mouth. So this is the, all the marbles as they say. French toast dredge. Heck, if we're going for it, we're going for it. <laughs> Go for the gold, baby. Oh no, honey. Yeah. Yep. Is it blowing up? Yeah. And as we quickly learned, it didn't come out as what I thought it would. Ooh. It's a thought that counts. I thought the griddle idea would be better, but. You just try different things. I mean, that looks like a frozen, like an ice cream boat. <laughs> Not every idea turns out. <laughs> All right, so we got it toasted up on the griddle. Now we're gonna put it in the French toast batter. I'm just gonna let that get real coated really well, just to make sure. Use a spoon. All right, so let's go ahead and go straight to the griddle. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my right hand as a guide and I got the spatula on the left side, keeping it upright. And I'm just putting about a 45 second crust and rolling it just like a wheel. And once I get that 45 second in, I'm gonna roll it forward and keep going. And you can see how it's developed a nice crust to give it that full crunch wrap experience. <laughs> Alrighty, obviously mine came out fantastic. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking the whole time that when it's on the griddle, you can't beat a griddle, which is why I am the flat top, flat top king. king. That's what I was telling you, the man. Griddle life is where it's about. And this is your concoction. I don't know why you <laughs> thought that you could deep fry a tortilla. Hey, give Tim credit where, where credit, credit is due. due. All right, so you see it sealed very well. That was kind of like the idea. Um, then we'll just take some syrup. Although that looks beautiful, what we're really here for <laughs> is what Neil made. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did tell you this thing would still taste fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> just it just fell apart in the fryer. Oh, it's still gonna be et. Et or eight. Or eaten. <laughs> et, eight or eaten. Yeah. 
perfect. Overall, not bad. I gotta be honest with you, I'm pretty excited. So this has been <laughs> weeks in the making. So I'm gonna let I mean, you, since I drove you are by the, the Shoney's breakfast buffet, but I was like, I don't need to because I'm here. <laughs> since you are the pastry king, I want you to have the first bite. Syrup. Not enough syrup. Not enough. Right. <laughs> when I said I was watching my carbs, I'm gonna watch them go right in my mouth. <laughs> oh, okay. Mhm. Mm that right there. Mhm. Mm you just jack it up with a little bit of syrup. It brings the perfect balance to the sweet, the savory, to that fried hash brown with the pancake and a little bit of a kiss of that sugar cinnamon coating on the outside. Preach it. Go to Flavortown on that guy, Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> Your next favorite griddle breakfast.